Aha, bonjour. Ni no ke mago ne biko ke mako e bik. Pe ba ma se ande go. Wa se ska wendo de. No ma mangi ke ko ji me ko men se te si ka mango e mas en ekan. Mi ta se ma ngi se ka sonan o ngi se ka sonan an o ko gan we we ni ge go ji se seg. Mi ta se we ge ni ga on ji. Ka on ji te bo ta ma no e. John cannot the man is be God take him as in Oh yeah. I just introduce myself my as my spirit name is um my spirit name and my English name is Nancy Jones and my clan is a muskrat and few weeks few days ago I was given tobacco to uh to help out with this uh translation of the paper and that's why I uh, I agreed to uh to do the translation because I I I really I lead my tobacco I, I have my tobacco will lead me of the things I do so that's why I'm here to uh, to do it Don's not here so uh, yeah. then we we smoked down and I smoked a pipe after we received tobacco so uh, we asked uh, we asked for if, um, Forgiveness for doing this on Zoom. It should be done in person. So we uh, we we're okay with it after after we had this uh, protocol protocol ceremony. All right. So this paragraph one um, in English it says the main message of United Nations Security Council Resolution thirteen twenty eight on women, peace, security. Inajamoinen UN Security Council thirteen twenty five. There's increased the number of women making decisions about preventing and ending war. Make sure the people in charge of keeping communities safe are educated on how to respect and work with women. When people are negotiating to end war, make sure they think about the special needs of women and girls involved in making important decisions. During war, protect women and girls, especially from rape. Make sure that anyone who rapes someone during war faces justice. When supporting fighters coming back from war, think about the difference, different needs of women, uh, di different needs of men, women, and their children. When the most important decision makers are making plans about war and peace, make sure they listen to many women in the community. Um, learn about the many ways that women help prevent and end war and help rebuild communities after war. I think it's a good idea. At the beginning, I really had a... Um, I had a little bit of a hard time doing this because of, there's language in there. Uh, Anishinaabe Moin is a respectful language. We don't use the word kill unless we kill a deer or something, but we don't, 
like Katushi Miga, I think is where people kill each other. And that's why I, I put on the industry me guarding where the where the bad things are happening. So in our language, in Shinabe Muin, we don't use kill. And then the, the rape part is our kwashkuna dawa. It just like it's with you explain it, it's ex, ex, okay. respectable way of saying it may sound like it was jumped on, but um it, I just um we don't use um she was sexually abused. We don't use that word. Yeah, Goshkuna Dawa means somebody got grabbed, jumped on, because in those days there was no 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 street lights. <laughs> so you you don't know who is who is there. I guess the reason why we don't we don't use this the 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 direct bad words that um it's like um, we make uh, we're going to make it happen if we if we use the direct say raped. Uh, my grandma used to say that shh, took a bison. Like she said, don't don't say that word because you're going to make it happen. So Goshkuna Dawa is just a very a very basic thing that someone got grabbed. We don't make things happen. That's why we we we're out, we we don't want to make things happen. That's why we are careful how we use the Ojibwe language because we know that our, our helpers creator is listening to us. Just like telling a an Anubush story, you visualize everything. That's that's that what Anubush is doing. Like we did the other the other night, we 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 talked about a, a spirit of winter and the way that I. I hear my parents or my grandparents talking is very, very respectable word they use to each other. And we never even use the word, don't be us, shut up. We didn't use that. We just say, shh, bizarre. So Ojibwe language is a, is a powerful spiritual language. And we, we really are really, be careful how we use it. We, I, for me anyway, I can't translate right from English into uh, into Ojibwe because English is harsh to, uh, you could hurt somebody with it. But in our, in our language, we, we use the, we use the word that we, you gotta be thinking about who, who we're talking about or who we're talking to. So no one gets offended or, or 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 get hurt, and we never use the word mad. We just use the word upset. I've been teaching my grandchildren, my children, not to not to tell their their children. Kanishkaadisena, are you mad? Don't use that word on them. Are you upset? <laughs> mad is a big word to, for a child to to learn. Is war. Me God is mad. That's the best way I can explain things. But I'm glad I did it anyway. With the help of Jason, I'm I um I work better with it, with somebody somebody some other speaker than the meaning of the what we're doing with the language. No, yeah, you you've got a lot of good helpers. I think so, and Don, Don's okay, but he, he's... Uh, he's been slipping lately. <laughs> he's a residential school recipient, so he's, he, at the, the harsh things is still in his head, you know, so that's what he wanted me to, to use when we first look at this. Kadashin is sitting where people kill each other, and I said, I'm not going to use that, I said. Just, we'll just use me guarding. Me guarding is more... You can even you can even talk about a couple of kids wrestling out there. That's that's just a mire. Kagweji Kagweji wanted them. Me guarding doesn't say kill. The only time we use kill is like, hey, I, I killed a boss yesterday. That's food. <laughs> and that's the only time that's the only time that word is, is respectful or want to hear it. <laughs> 